I nearly suffocated while my hubby was saving his lover. Frank lost control of the wheel, staring at some bimbo, and we had a bad accident. When I woke up, I didn't feel my legs. Your wife may be disabled, the doctor concluded. What do you want me to do with her then? My hubby snapped back. On my way home, we saw our neighbor. I'd always been scared of him. How do you even step outside with that face? My hubby never missed a chance to take a stab at him. If it was up to me, I'd keep him locked in a basement, Frank declared, taking me downstairs. This is where you stay till the end of your days, he said bitterly. Every day, I tried my best to get up on my feet, but only an expensive surgery could help me. I'm not spending a dime on you. Frank emptied our joint account. Then he started bringing his lover to our home, openly. What are you looking at? Have you seen yourself lately? I'm popular with ladies, unlike you. My good-looking husband roasted the neighbor. He started banging on a pipe and made a ruckus. But my husband nipped my protest in the bud. I'm a man, and you're good for nothing. He left with his arm around his lover. All I could see from there was my neighbor's scary face. I didn't want to live like this anymore. In a basement, not feeling my legs, no husband. I'd no idea making that wish would change my life. I woke up smelling smoke. I realized the whole house was on fire. My husband and his lover got out and left me to die. Don't be afraid. I called the fire department. Help is coming. My neighbor tried comforting me, but I was <coughs> running out of air. Help, please, save me, I cried in panic. But the guy didn't even move in my direction. I woke up in the hospital. Turned out, it wasn't firefighters who saved my life. It was my neighbor. I couldn't believe it, but he also paid for my surgery. Thank you for everything, but what took you so long? I asked. I thought he was offended by my fear and my hubby's barbs. But I'd no idea how hard it was for him to fight his fear. Jack got his burns as a kid in a fire. His phobia made him freeze. If you let me die now, you'll never forgive yourself, were my last words. It was getting unbearably hot. The smoke scorched <coughs> my throat. While dying, I realized how much I wanted to live. The last thing I saw was my neighbor's face. And it was beautiful. It was the face of my savior. I'll find a job and pay you back. But I can never repay you for saving my life. I thanked him with tears of joy. My rescue story was all over the news. And it turned my outcast neighbor into a hero. I couldn't be happier for him. Once I learned how amazing he was, I wanted everyone to know it too. As for my ex, he had a car crash while trying to flee with the home insurance money. Karma is a thing after all. The crash left permanent scars. One night, my ex showed up at my door. Look at me. No one wants me anymore. He begged me to forgive him and get back together. But I'd already found my true love. I was happy with the best man in the world. Someone will love you too one day. But only after you fix your ugly soul, I lay the truth on him. Learn to see what truly matters. Good looks don't make for a beautiful person. Love the soul, not the appearance. <laughs>